All right, it looks like we are live right now. Um, let's see if this works. Welcome everybody that's in this chat right here. My name is Sam Bruckman. Um, I am the business development manager at Async Art. I look like this. Um, and we're just gonna wait a few more minutes as people sort of file in um, to, to start the very exciting explanation of what's going on um, on our platform and our auctions. Just in case uh, you guys are wondering, um, we do have a CryptoVoxels link on the Async Art Twitter um, and uh, please feel free to join there or feel free to continue on our uh, on the Twitch live stream. Um, we'll get started in about three minutes and we'll, we'll do it then. But in the meantime, as we sort of continue um, uh, onto this platform and as we continue to be on this platform, a couple of things to make note. Um, if this is your first time on this platform, then uh, WASD is to move. Um, F is to fly, and you can fly around the building. Uh, the bu the async building has recently been been redone. Uh, folks that were at the Kodame Festival uh, should have seen this already, but just in case you haven't, here it is in all its glory. Um, another important little tidbit is um, if you really like, uh, you know, a piece of artwork, or if you if there's something that resonates with you throughout the process of this. Uh, of this time, you can press G, and the G uh, will give you, uh, you know, different emojis that you can access. Uh, you know, you can say, you can have a heart, you can have a clap, uh, you can have a thumbs up, um, and so on and so forth. Thank you, Afro, for that love, um, and so, um, and for that thunder, yes, and lightning. Thank you, thank you. So um, we'll just use those uh, and let me know what, what you really resonate with and what you what you really love. Um, once again, WASD, thanks Brian Brinkman for the hearts and Afro for the hearts, thank you. Um, once again, uh, you know, F is to fly, WASD is to move. Um, if you hold down shift uh, while you move, you run faster. Um, and uh, yeah, so before, as, as we wait for a couple more people, we'll get started in just, uh, you know, about a minute or two. Uh, feel free to go inside the building, check out the featured pieces or the Async Classics. Uh, we won't be able to get to talk about these things today, but um, uh, they are very fascinating and you can go check them out. Um, my name is still anonymous, by the way. Uh, I checked how much it would cost to mint my name today, and it was like uh, over 30 bucks. So um, accepting donations uh, <laughs> for, to mint my name uh, from anonymous to Sam Brookman. But either way, uh, this is me. Uh, so if you're ever confused about what I look like or who I am, I am anonymous with a Bitcoin chat box um, right next to my name and an arrow, a hand uh, pointing an arrow at me to my head. So uh, check me out and follow me around as we begin in just a couple more minutes. It's been a really crazy month at Async. We've, we've rolled out several new features that we're really excited about, a new tab extension. Uh, we've coined it New Year, New Tab. Um, and a lot of new artists that we've onboarded. Um, and it's just, it's just amazing to me that every month that we are sort of, um, every month we, we come up with, with more and more creative ideas um, as we go through this process. So really great, um, really great to see that. And I think that you're gonna see that today as we um, go forward with, the, with, the, with this f format of auction. Um, Lots of great artists coming from all sorts of different backgrounds. We're very, very happy with um, with how this how these artists are coming, um, and so on and so forth. So, all right, folks, just one more minute and we'll get started. One more minute and we'll get started here. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please follow our Twitter. Please follow my Twitter at Sam Brookman. Async Art is at Async Art. Um, 
and also, if you haven't already started, um, please follow us on Twitch. Uh, and once you do, you, I, I'll actually, on the live stream, get a notification and give you a shout out. So make sure that you do that. And just one more minute. Hey, T.S. Moreau. Hey, Anonymous. Hey, everybody. Great to see you. Great to be here. Nice. Thanks, No Shot. No Shot is now part of the programmable art movement. Woohoo! Hey, Jeff Davis. Thanks for that wave, Anonymous. As a reminder, you press G to emote. Uh, please feel free to do that throughout this work. Let us know which artworks you, you are your favorite, which ones you're looking forward to, and so on and so forth. Nice peace sign, T.S. Moreau. All right, folks, we're, we're going to get started. And as we sort of go through this process, um, we'll, uh, we'll add more people as we go. So we're going to enter the building at this point, and we'll go through this door, and what you'll see is there's uh, async classics and, and featured pieces. I highly encourage you uh, to take a look at these after, uh, after this live stream. Um, there's some amazing stuff here, um, stuff that I talked about in Kodame and that you can find on our YouTube channel. But here we go. We'll, we'll go through the featured pieces section, um, and in the back here, after you go through here, you'll find some... Uh, stairs that go to January auctions and we'll go up the stairs here um, and this is what we are seeing um, as we go through these are sort of the highlights of this month's auctions and um, we're, we're very excited about um, about all of these artworks I as I mentioned before these are um, I feel like every month there are people coming in with new um, and exciting ideas. And this one in particular, again, um, it, it's just amazing to watch and see how these artists sort of adapt to the programmable art movement um, and sort of how they plan. You know, uh, I always tell people, you know, we've been conditioned to sort of like look at art as the static image and, and what we end up end up with is like this uh, with async art is something that that's dynamic that changes over time um, something that that is, is able to be played with something that people can do stuff with and so as we begin um, the first art piece that I kind of want to mention and give a shout out to is to T.S. Moreau from the very beginning I've been talking about how amazing and I, everybody on our team has been talking about how awesome it is um, and this use case of actually having comic strips and comic book uh, pages that essentially tell a certain story, but that can be edited and changed over time. Um, thanks for that heart, Anonymous. Um, so, so let's let's dive in. This this piece is called Face Face Number Two Divergences. Um, and it's by T.S. Moreau. It's a programmable art comic. Those of you who have been with us for, for a little bit of time, T.S. Moreau actually had face face number one. And um, one of our uh, co-founders, uh, co Conlon, wrote uh, an article, a blog, about how, you know, um, when one person changes a layer, it really, really uh, it, it sort of motivates others to change layers as well to sort of like respond to how the story changes and so this is i would say this is like a really souped up version of face space number one um it's the second installment of t.s moreau's programmable art comic um last time we had two protagonists two heroes kala and ogdai they were searching the rural hinterlands of quote unquote the territory uh, a desert-like world that's constantly shifting and changing. Now we find them at a bazaar, and this bazaar, as you can see, um, is full of different people. Um, they're seeking wisdom from a person named Enki, who is a mysterious sorcerer and foodie at the same time. Um, so here's how the, how the layers work. O owners of um, several layers can choose um, what different people look like, and so uh, owners can own Ogdai and Kala. Um, they can they can edit what they look like. They can choose what they look like, and they can also choose some of the rooftop details, like the colors. Um, the rooftop detail that you can see is right on the right here, and that changes color and, and sort of some other aspects. 
Um, owners can also buy layers of the merchants, which you can see on the top here. Um, those those merchants are, um, you know, you can, they, they can, basically owners can change what they say, what they look like, um, and it's, it, it's actually like very playful. If you click on this artwork, you, you'll be led to an OpenSea link, um, and you can actually go onto the Async website, Async Art website, to choose and, and see what the layers look like and what the people say. Um, and so you can choose Ogda and Kala as the heroes. You can choose the merchants and what they say and look like. And particularly playful people can own um, the monkey, which is in this, uh, which is in this uh, comic book strip, and they can own um, the ramen bowl and edit what those look like as well. Um, lock day for phase space number two is Sunday, February 21st, and uh, the reserve for the master is two ETH with layers uh, ranging from 0.1 ETH to 0.5 ETH. So the heroes, I believe, are 0.5 ETH, and then you have sort of uh, the merchants and the bowl of ramen and the monkey um, as uh, anywhere between 1.1 and 0.2 and so on and so forth. I really like this because, um, I really like this piece because, you know, it, it's a constant conversation and it's really community driven. Um, it's rare that we find pieces that have many different layers. And so this is a really, really cool piece in the sense that like, there's an entire community based on the amount of owners, uh, layer owners that can basically control the story. And um, it's always really fun. I always like to check back, you know, one of one of the other things, one of the other artworks that I always check back on is Murat Pox, The Tribe. Um, this T.S. Moroz is uh, another another artist that that sort of showcases that quality and something that I'm I, I really love. Moving forward, we have Timeless by uh, Julian Brangold. And I have to say, like, this piece really resonated with me. I remember when I, um, when I was still in grade school, uh, you know, in high school, I was asked what I wanted to be. And the one thing that I always really wanted to be uh, before I said musician was an archaeologist. And so Julian Brangold's Timeless piece is, is like a, a very close connection of mine because I've always dreamed of uncovering uh, you know, dinosaur bones or an ancient civilization or something like that. And there's something, there's there's a sort of excitement about that for me. Um, it, it, you know, I remember going on a vacation to Canada and, and finding like a random fossil that was like pretty clear, um, a, a pretty clear imprint. And that was, uh, it was like one of the most exciting uh, parts of my, uh, you know, parts of my life to be able to discover something unknown like this fossil. And so um, Timeless by Julian Brangold is a really, a really great uh, feature of that in the sense that like the owner and the viewer actually gets to uncover this, this uh, part of um, the Pergamon altar over time. And it, and it sort of like, it uncovers and covers itself over time. So here's how it works. The Pergamon altar um, is, is actually like a pretty sizable monument um, it's it's now located in Berlin, and so what Julian Brangold has done is he's taken two pieces of it, um, and um, basically like rendered it. And uh, timeless basically mirrors the natural decay uh, of this classical sculpture uh, structure with the power of programmable art. Um, the digital scan sinks into the lush terrain on the first day of a new month. And in December, the digital sculpture, uh, sculpture will enter into its most decayed state with the beauty of modern technology resets the sculpture in its original form starting in January. So what happens is like over time, this will sink into the terrain of what you see around the center um, and then it'll uncover itself uh, in, in January. It's, it, it really is almost like you're an archeologist uh, excavating a new and exciting find. Um, and that's why I really love it because there's there's sort of this aspect of like I'm gonna check back on this every month I'm gonna check back on this every day just to see like how much I can see of it and that and that's the beauty of it uh, Timeless uh, is a master. It's one master. There are no layers uh, It's reserved at a three ETH minimum and closes on Saturday January 23rd So if you really love what you see uh, make sure to uh, check it out Further. And again, just as an aside, you can click on each of these paintings and you can, uh, artworks rather, and you can visit the OpenSea link and as well as you can go on the Async Art website. And we do encourage you to do that. Please feel free to uh, do that. All right. 
Uh, next up, we have View Program by Jeff Davis. Jeff Davis, um, this is his debut async art release. It's consisted of six layers, and owners have the ability to select from nine different window patterns, four atmospheric conditions, and can uncover 16 billion different color combinations through four different reflections. So I love this. I, I, I really love this piece for its ability to... Um, it, it's really simple. It's it's a simple piece, but the color changes and the uh, and the sort of different reflections that you find um, range from like peaceful to exciting and so on and so forth. Um, Davis is really well known for his abstract work uh, made with algorithmic processes, processes, um, and the artist writes uh, you know custom software that randomly determines compositional elements related to size, quantity, color, placement. Um, grid density and so um, this when when you consider this fact um, it makes this artwork even more meaningful the sense the, the fact that like Jeff has has basically written custom software for this um, and it's it you know for the first time ever um, he's bestowing the ability to change his composition by allowing a layer owner uh, the ability to change his async artwork that's never that's a that's a piece that has never been done by Jeff before um, and something really exciting for us it's created by uh, with a 16 by 9 format so um, this piece is you know unsurprisingly optimized optimized for uh, the async Apple TV app so if you have the Apple TV app make sure to check this out on there. Um, in our blog post, you can actually see photos taken of what it looks like on a TV. It's a really, really awesome thing. Um, and one of the most unique things about this piece is that Jeff basically is sending collectors 2,000 ABST tokens per one ETH sent, uh, spent on his work. ABST is essentially a, a, a social currency that can be spent on exclusive art at the abstract store. And the abstract store link is both in the description of the artwork and it's also in our blog post. So make sure you check out the abstract store. Um, so not only are you buying his artwork for ETH, but you're actually getting a return on it and you can uh, you can basically speculate and, and um, buy other work there. So, which is really, really awesome and um, really, really cool. Yay! Jamie Works is now part of the programmable art movement. Woohoo! Awesome. Um, all right. So as we as we sort of move forward, just a reminder um, with all of these artworks, uh, if something resonates with you, if you really love what uh, what a piece of what one of the artworks do, make sure you press G and give us an emote, see and and tell us which one you love, uh, which ones you really resonate with, and 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 so on and so forth. All right, moving on to the next one, Ganoodle by Stina Jones. Um, what I love about uh, Ganoodle is the fact that it's so playful. Um, I, have, I have a friend um, named Mark Zlotsky who actually minted his first piece on async uh, a couple weeks ago that his whole sort of mission artistically is to be playful and and Stina Jones in her Ganoodle is a Ganoodle um, is like amazing in the sense that like this piece is really uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously and that's the beauty of it and I think we all need that from time to time and I think especially now with everything that's going on I think it's a particularly uh, relevant piece that I, I um, I, whenever I look at it, it just sort of like brightens me a little bit. Um, and so, you know, Stina Jones' trademark is basically creating creatures that are uh, full of clean lines, full of whimsical style. Um, her last async artwork was featured in uh, this, this epic collaboration with 105 Collective that we featured on our channel um, a couple of months ago. And it sold for a really impressive um, 11K back in October 2020. And she returns with her first solo piece, um, which are GAN-generated characters based off of her previous cre creations made from Playform.io. Now, if you haven't ch checked out Playform.io, I highly recommend it. Check it out. Um, make sure you take a look at it. It's a really, really fascinating, uh, fascinating website and platform. Um, the unnamed pet, which you see in front of you, um, can be altered via face, body, frame, and canvas 
to create a state change with its body, eyes, frame, and background layer. So there are five different states in each layer, which gives this async condition Ganoodle the ability to morph and change as the new owners wish. And so I like to equate this, you know, sort of like, you know, it's like a Furby, uh, but almost like on a blockchain and uh, much cooler because it, you know, changes colors, shapes, and backgrounds, uh, which Furby could never do. Shame on you, Furby. Uh, the reserve right now <laughs> is two ETH, um, and already uh, all, one bid has been made by Metapurse. Um, so make sure if you if you resonate with this, please make sure to check out the check out the painting and um, see for yourself. So um, moving on here, we have. A, a piece that is called Sun Kachina Hours by Notorious Gang of One. Um, really fascinating uh, premise, really unique aspect that um, you know I don't think we've really experienced before on our platform. But something that is really interesting and done by an artist who really is like a crypto art OG. I think he's been creating since. I think either 2000, I think 2018. Um, and that's really like kind of before most of us, uh, myself including, um, figured out even what a crypto wallet is. So um, Lawrence Lee has been around for a while um, and he, I think you know, he's very deeply respected. Um, I think his, he's located in Arizona if I'm not mistaken and he does a lot of traditional art but as well as crypto art. So. Through personal happenstance, um, he was basically invited to a really rare Native American Hopi ceremony. Um, and this indigenous ceremony was, um, it, it, it's, it's during the Niman uh, Kachina festival in which tribesmen helped send off the ancestral spirits who came in the spring that helped bring good crops for the year. The Kachinas are ancestral spirits of the Hopi Indians. Um, and native native peoples for six months of the year they leave their home in the mountains and visit the tribe bringing health to the people and rain to the crops um, their arrival in january or february is celebrated as the powamu festival and their departure in july is observed as, as the niman kachina festival um, and so during one during this kachina festival uh, uh, lawrence lee or notorious gang of one um, was uh, sort of talking with one of the native peoples and ended up trading one of the uh, one of his artworks for what's called a kachina doll. And a kachina doll is very interesting because you know on the surface it looks like a toy, but really it's it's this um, very spiritually regarded, um, very serious sort of uh, representation of of these um, um, of this tribe and of this. Uh, ceremony um, of, of good of good crops rain during good crops um, and and health to people and so um, the fact that Lawrence Lee was able to acquire one um, through his friendship with the indigenous people um, and as a fellow cra a craftsman is really like a, a pretty big deal um, and no small feat um, his latest async artwork is Basically, like the reimagined depiction of what a sun kachina changing autonomously every hour of the day looks like, and it's very similar to how the Hopi tribe dances in regular influence uh, intervals throughout the festival. So, um, what you find is you have all sort of different colors and different textures um, with this piece that are that are really interesting and really symbolic of you know good good health, um, good weather, um, good farm. Um, and so on and so forth. Something that is that is really really interesting um, and sort of different that we that we really haven't really sort of explored or seen on the platform um, a whole lot. Reserve price for this is 0.83 ETH, um, and it closes this Sunday, January 23rd. There's already one bid by Colburn from Mocha. Um, so if you really like this, uh, please do go ahead and check it out. Um, I I feel really um, you know, when I saw this piece, I, I really wanted to do more research about this, and I really, uh, really felt um, really special to even be able to be looking at it in the sense that this is a piece that is um, very personal and and 
um, deserves to have a lot of respect um, and uh, with with the indigenous people and, and so on and so forth. So um, do check it out. Do do some more research um, and uh, enjoy the piece. Uh, check it out. Ends on uh, Saturday. Moving forward, Playtime at Le Mans by MBSJQ. Um, this is a really, <laughs> really funny, to talk about playful and different. Uh, this work is, is really inspired by the artist um, who has worked with like really top clients. We're talking, you know, Google, Intel, Mitsubishi, NASCAR, NBC, Uber, Rockstar, Energy, uh, among many, many others. So this is a really adept and um, uh, really beautiful uh, artist that has done a lot of work um, already in the in in several industries. And um, his debut. This is first of all, this is his debut piece on async and it's an autonomous piece that changes to reflect the day and night cycle um, and many of you will recognize the day and night cycle um, because we we it's it's an uh, a default feature on async canvas um, but it's also um, something that we showcase during our halloween um, holiday sort of thing and it's really great uh, so he sort of took advantage by doing this uh, the subject matter is a Le Mans, uh, Le Mans Porsche 917K, and in the artist's own words, is a beautiful mix of huge respect and memories from my childhood. So you see this blue, this relaxed day cycle of basically a Gulf blue uh, Porsche. And um, what happens at night is the, the layer switches into and the Porsche becomes orange and there are a whole bunch of balls next to it that sort of like surround it essentially. Um, it's, it's, it's like, I, I'm sort of laughing right now and smiling because um, the Gulf orange at night is, is very playful. And when you look at it, like the first time I looked at it, I like couldn't help myself but like laugh because it's, it's sort of like this like ridiculous uh scene of just like a whole bunch of orange balls next to an orange uh orange car and you're thinking to yourself like what what is happening um but you know when you when you look at the context you know it's just like a childhood sort of like memory in essence um and this childhood excitement and you know as an artist as a performing artist we always talk about this idea of um, being a child, being a child at heart, being being able to play all the time, and um, I think this this um, I don't know if his intent was to do this, but it, he certainly achieved it. Um, the artist was able to like sort of get me to this place where I was like playfully laughing and and sort of accepting the piece. So um, really wonderful. So again, relaxed blue golf blue during the day and a really exciting and playful orange with a whole bunch of orange balls next to it at night. Um, what mood do you find yourself at, in as you gaze upon the piece? I'd love, I'd love to be able to, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, let me know uh, by giving me an emoji of what you, what you think when you see it. Uh, there is no reserve price for this uh, piece, but the auction does end on Saturday, January 23rd. So make sure to check it out. I see a heart emoji over here. Um, let me know what you think about this piece uh, as we continue to move on. All right. Oh, I see a whole bunch of people. I see 100 and, and lightnings. Awesome. Thanks, thanks, guys. Really, really wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the emojis. All right. Um, the Dreamer uh, by Man With No Name. Thanks for the lightning, Anonymous, with a hat. Um, who's <laughs> slowly looking at me? Um, okay, great. Moving, moving forward. So the dreamer is by man with no name. And this is his debut async art piece with a marvelous tribute to the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. The, uh, and it was minted actually on January third, which is the day uh, the first Bitcoin was mined years ago. Um, this is uh, these are some words from the artist himself. Although Bitcoin is a reality now, it was born as a dream to disrupt the financial system and the centralization of wealth and power. 
This is clearly documented on the white paper and on the hidden message on the first Bitcoin block. It was a dream, it was built, and then it became a revolutionary reality. I believe that we can do a lot with effort, but to create something with soul and revolutionary power, you must be a dreamer. Dream about your vision every day and make it the fuel to build. It is important to build, it is important to dream. You know, I have to say, like, this is a message that deeply, deeply resonates with me. I, I, um, I come from a performing arts background where, you know, you kind of have to have a lot of hope and a lot of uh, dreaming in order to accomplish your dreams. And so um, what, what, what this piece does for me is that it's just like it serves as a really inspiring reminder that, like, it all starts with a vision. And from that vision, you build out something that is life-changing and um, really different and one of the things that I, I love about it is that you know you can look back at this and you can you, it just serves really as a reminder like this inspiring reminder of um, you know there's there the, 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 there's balance there's the, there's needed balance it's the, the balance of dreaming big and and working hard you know I have um, my background is, I, I'm first generation American, but my parents in particular um, immigrated from the Soviet Union in 1990. And so this is something that I've had in my life since the beginning, though I, I've not, you know, had the struggle of, you know, immigrating from the Soviet Union, the USSR in 1990 um, to the United States. I certainly was, in, you know, it was sort of like part of my life that this was a repeating thing that you know we, we you have um, you have this um, desire for the American dream that is achieved by working hard um, so uh, this is really great about that um, the visual aesthetics are a careful balance of dreamy colors and futuristic icons and shapes natural elements like a Satoshi face and planets are juxtaposed with 3d renders and digital symbolism the dreamer autonomously changes to reflect day and night because the artist deems the pursuit of your dreams should be a continuous process as well as an uncontrolled force. Make sure to check out his cool portfolio website and take a peek in how a man with no name manifests his dreams. So um, the, the, you can take a look at his pro portfolio website on our blog, on our uh, async.art website. You can also t uh, see it on, um, I believe, his description with, um, with the piece. This is something um, I, I, I think, as I've said, you know, it's a, it's a really fascinating piece. You can read up, read more about it. Um, the, there is no reserve price for this piece. Um, it ends on Saturday, January twenty third. Although I will say that there has already been one bid of 0.25 ETH. So if you like this piece, do go and check it out. See what you think, um, and and find out more information about it. Moving on, um, Still Life on Niche by Oficinas TK. Um, he is no stranger to the async art platform. In fact, um, one of the most uh, lovely art projects that he's done, in my opinion, have been during uh, the day and night cycle with Halloween. He was the guy that had just like a skull um, during a day and night cycle. Um, which was really, really captivating, and that skull you can see sort of in this in this piece as well. Um, really, really cool stuff. I, I encourage you to go take a look at his other work on async art. This is something that is really, really cool. Thanks for that emoji. Um, and um, what this piece does is very interesting. Um, it gathers three recurring elements and symbol from his usual subjects. And those three elements are a skull, an idol, and an egg. And it places them at the front seat of an ever-changing still life where no decay is manifesting. So what does that mean? We're, we look at this like this sort of like black canvas and in, the, in what seems to be a slight bit of distance, you can see a skull, you can see an idol, which, and, you know, sort of looks like a wine bottle in essence, but, you know, has this like red top to represent the head, and then an egg. Um, the observable changes of this piece come every month with a light change, a shadows becoming softer or harder, and the warm slash cold shift in, in the general tone. 
So, um, and, and on each equinox, uh, which is March and September 21st, the focus will be on the idol, which is used as a symbol for stability an equilibrium attained by crossing both the earthly, the horizontal, and the heavenly, the vertical axis. And on the summer solstice, June 20th, which is June 20th, the focus is shifted to the skull. When the sun, quote unquote, dies and enters a period of reclusion and contraction. On the winter solstice, which is December 21st, the focus is shifted to the egg, which is a symbol of a seed, an egg as expansion. It's an intentionally slow piece because there's no fast way of making time noticeable. The resu uh, yeah, so, so um, what this piece does is it's sort of like this, this really slow um, representation of growth and um, symbolism of the different cycles that we have on Earth. Um, it, it, it is this sort of like cooling essence in, in many ways because it is... Um, it is over time, and and there's no like there's no fast answer to what you're looking for, and so it's just a, a great reminder of uh, mindfulness and sort of like you know observing over time rather than rather than getting everything at once. You know, I'm I'm the sort of person that's very bullheaded and wants everything to be done immediately, and I want to see you know the results very very clearly. And what this piece does for me is it just slows time down a little bit and reminds me that. There's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more in silence and in emptiness and um, in time, rather than you know getting immediate um, satisfaction from one um, from one piece and so on and so forth. And so, still life uh, has a reserve price at four ETH um, and a buy it now price at seven ETH, and it ends this Saturday, January twenty third. And so we get we come to um, the final piece um, by Arjit Kapoor or Garden of Chaos, and um, this is a really interesting play of sort of nature juxtaposed with um, computer and uh, programmatic elements, uh, which I think is something that's pretty unique uh, to our platform. Many people have tried, you know, done you know generative pieces here and there. But no one, I, I don't think anyone yet on the async art platform has really sort of made the connection between the uh, juxtaposition the, the, between nature and um, AI and programmatic elements. Um, Garden of Chaos is an experiment in generative artwork constructed purely and completely from logic and mathematics by aspiring artist Chaos Construct, or Ajit Kapoor. The artist loves playing with generative art in minimal and thoughtful ways. Um, if you want to check out his previous debut, Async Art, um, you can on our website. I highly encourage it, it where he puts basically each layer as, as a different sort of tribe. Um, in this latest autonomous work, the artist planted seeds for the garden, which is what you see. Um, using his human logic, but the shapes and the bloom that grows is born out of the natural randomness generated by code. And so, like, when we think about, like, this is yet another layer, you know, this, this like, this natural randomness and, and the randomness of natural selection um, is sort of like this interesting play, this interesting parallel with this work. Um, the artist planted seeds for the garden using his human logic. Um, but the, the, the shapes and the bloom that grows is born out of natural randomness. During the daytime, the Garden of Chaos will be black, uh, black shapes on top of a white background, and it, it will basically reverse its coloring at night. So what you see um, in every individual square are these sort of growths that happen over time, and when it becomes nighttime, um, it, you know, it, it switches, it basically inverts. Um, the Garden mimics... Um, Interestingly, it, it mimics this like plant photosynthesis and respiration process as it, you know, sort of like blooms during the daytime and it shrinks at night to get ready for another day of activity the next day. So it's this sort of like play on growth and change, both from a mechanical and a natural standpoint. The phenomenon of uh, delicate balance is the heart of this autonomous async work. It lives at the intersection between natural and mechanical order and chaos. 
Um, and it's, it's this man-made space where nature can thrive. And so um, very, very interesting concept, very different. Um, and again, it's, this, it's one of these things where, you know, you have um, AI and, and computer generated elements on top of nature. And one of the things that is really uh, fascinating about this is that, you know, when it comes down to it, nature, the randomness of nature and the randomness of AI and, and sort of the programmatic elements of what we're seeing is really all not, not all that different. Um, they function very similarly um, in terms of um, the aspect of randomness. And so this is, this is a really interesting study of that and, and something that um, you know, I, I think is, is, is fascinating and is very different, something that you know, has been tried on the platform in different ways, but never quite, uh, you know, this, this is very unique in the sense that it really compares it to nature um, and, and other elements. So make sure, um, make sure to check it out. Um, click on it if you like. Um, and we will, um, the, the auction ends on Saturday, January 23rd. So make sure to check it out. Folks, at this point, we are coming to the end of our tour for this month. And I see so many people around here, which is awesome. This is like even more than last time. Thanks for that heart emoji. Um, I, I, this is really, really wonderful. Um, and I, I encourage you, um, we'll, we'll just kind of, um, there, there are several different elements. Um, there's a porch out here, which you can go outside and check out. Um, but I'd love to be able to take some questions um, as we, um, as we uh, you know, sort of come to the end of this. Um, but do check out the, the porch and ask any questions about any of the art or um, we'd be happy to answer anything that concerns um, you know, the technology aspect to the programmability of the aspect. We do have several artists here today um, that are checking out the artwork. So um, if you have specific, um, specific questions for those artists, I encourage you to ask them at this point. Um, so feel free to type in uh, the crypto voxels page, but also I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Twitch right now and see what questions you have. Um, in the meantime, just uh, set, sit tight and we, we will get those answered for you in just a minute. As a reminder, um, um, we are doing, this is the first time we're doing this, and if you really liked what we did here today, I encourage you to follow us on Twitter. Follow me at Sam Brookman. It looks like I'm going to be doing these um, for a while. And um, I, I will be, I also am an advocate, uh, a marketing advocate on the channel for artists. So I frequently do interviews um, and other content like that. So please go ahead and subscribe. It would be um, great to have you follow um, and keep you updated on all that information. But also like make sure to subscribe to Async Art um, and follow at Async Art on Twitter. Um, we have a whole lot um, happening over the next couple of months. And it's just amazing, um, you know, just how, just how, um, how much, you know, updates we're having, how much things we're doing over the last, over the next couple of months, um, and how programmable, uh, art applies in so many different angles and, and ways. And, um, finally, uh, we will be streaming on Twitch again. So um, if you like what you saw and you like what you heard today, uh, please do follow us on Twitch. We had about three follows um, throughout this process, but um, we would love more. So, so make sure to, to follow us there. Uh, and finally, if you're a prospective artist um, here today, we thank you so much for being here and really wonderful to see you. Yes, a man with no name 49 is now following our Twitch stream. Thank you, man with no name. Um, if you're a new artist or a prospective artist, we, we thank you so much for being here today. We love having you, um, and, and please do make sure. Yes, Chaos Constructs um, is now part of the programmable art music uh, movement. Thank you so much. Um, we're getting lots of follows today, which is greatly encouraging. Um, 
and uh, really, really wonderful. So um, just as what I was saying before, you know, if you're a new artist, we encourage you to apply. Um, you can find an artist application on async.art. Make sure that you do that. And finally, um, uh, thanks, Horace. Uh, thanks. Uh, I, uh, energy is my middle name. Um, in fact, some people say that I actually, they, they're afraid that I'm going to get a heart attack one day with the amount of energy that I have, um, which I don't think is true. I think we'll be fine. But anyway, um, as just a final thing, you, you do see me as anonymous uh, with a Bitcoin uh, symbol above my head. Uh, the reason I'm anonymous is because as of today, it costs about $30 to mint my name. Uh, so as just, you know, a funny thing, you know, if you feel compelled to send a donation my way to, for me to be able to mint my name, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, thank you guys so much um, for being here today. And, and it's really encouraging to have so many people here right now. Um, it looks like we'll be doing these uh, monthly. And um, let me just at, right right before I go, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let, let's let's walk through this gallery one more time, um, just so I can show you um, all of these pieces. Just as a reminder, are ending this weekend. Um, they're all sort of happening, um, and we encourage you to make sure. Uh, to subscribe, thank you, Crypto Afro, for subscribing to the Twitch. We have Face Space Number Two by T. S. Moreau, Timeless by Julian Brangold, View Program by Jeff Davis, Ganoodle by Stina Jones, Sun Kachina Hours by Notorious Gang of One, Playtime at Le Mans by MBSJQ, The Dreamer. Thank you, Pedro V, uh, for following us on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. Um, the Dreamer, with Man With No Name, Still Life on Niche, uh, Oficinas TK, Garden of Chaos by Arjit Kapoor. And finally, just as, as a final little uh, thing, if we walk down here, you can see some of the featured art pieces that we have. Um, and also make sure to check, check out the Async Classics. Um, I mentioned The Tribe by Pac earlier on, but there are so many really cool stuff like Matt Cain, Our First First Supper, um, Choose the Man That You Will Become by Osinachi, and so on and so forth. I want to give a big shout out to, um, to No Shot, uh, co-founder of Async Art, um, for building the building um, and making it look so nice and also filling out the gallery um, for, for this particular auction space. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please follow uh, at Sam Brookman on Twitter, at Async Art, um, and our Twitch stream. Thanks so much. We really, really look forward to having you again. And uh, please feel free to message me either on Twitter or on Twitch or on Discord if you have any other questions. I'd be happy to answer them for you. It's been a really great pleasure, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. And hopefully we will see you in a month. Thanks so much, guys.